Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our English lesson. I am very glad to see you again. And the theme of our lesson is comparative degrees of adjectives. Today at the lesson you will learn comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. You will be able to use comparative and superlative adjectives, identify the meaning of the words in listening, practice your listening and writing skills, and make sentences with adjectives. Okay, let's start. First of all, my dear boys and girls, how are you today? How are you feeling today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Or maybe good or tired? I hope that you are happy today and you will be very active and certainly you will be interested in learning a lot of new during today's lesson. Okay, what is it an adjective? What does an adjective mean? Adjectives are words which describe color, size, shape, feels, taste, sounds, and others. And adjectives give more information about the noun or pronoun by answering one of these questions. What kind? For example, blue car. Which one? For example, last week. How many? For example, few cars. Okay, let's continue. There are three comparison degrees of adjectives. What are they? Positive, comparative, superlative. For example, big, bigger, the biggest. Listen very attentively. We use the comparative to compare two people, things, animals, places, etc. We usually use them after comparative forms. We can also use much before comparative adjectives to give accent. For example, Ted is taller than Bill. Paris is more expensive than Rome. Susan is much nicer than Terry. Short comparative adjectives. If adjectives have one syllable, we add ER ending. For example, old, older, short, shorter, thin, thinner, long, longer. If adjectives have two syllables and N in Y, we change Y into I and add ER ending. For example, funny, funnier, easy, easier, happy, happier. Lucky, luckier. If adjectives have two syllables or more, we use more before adjectives. For example, beautiful, more beautiful, expensive, more expensive, interesting, more interesting, comfortable, more comfortable. And now, dear boys and girls, let's compare. We use comparative adjectives where we compare two things or people. Here you can see two houses and two adjectives, big and small. Try to do examples. Use these adjectives. Okay, ready? Let's check. The yellow house is smaller than the red one. The red house is bigger than the yellow house. Good job! Next example. Here you can see two cars and two adjectives. Cheap, expensive. Try to compare these cars. So, ready? Okay, let's check. The green car is cheaper than the blue car. The blue car is more expensive than the green car. Well done. Let's continue. Please. Look at the form of short superlative adjectives. We add EST ending. For example, old, the oldest, short, the shortest, thin, the thinnest, long, the longest. And now, if adjectives have two syllables or end in Y, we change Y into I and add EST ending. For example, funny, the funniest, easy the easiest, happy, the happiest, lucky, the luckiest. 
Ok. If adjectives have two syllables or more, we use the most before adjectives. For example, beautiful, the most beautiful, expensive, the most expensive, interesting, the most interesting, comfortable, the most comfortable. And attention! You know that in English language we have irregular forms, irregular adjectives. What are they? For example, good, better, the best, bad, worse, the worst, little, less, the least, many, much, more, the most, far, farther, the farthest, far, further, the furthest. Learn all these forms of adjectives by heart. And now, dear boys and girls, let's make examples. We use superlative forms when we compare one thing or person with the group. Here you can see adjective tall. Try to make examples. Ready? Yes, the house is the tallest of all. Excellent. Next, please. The next example. And the next adjective is modern. Ready? Okay, let's check. This phone is the most modern of all. Well done. And now let's practice a little. Try to make comparative and superlative form of these adjectives, please. Hot, careful, good, large, pretty and bad. Ready? Okay, let's check. Yes, hot, hotter, the hottest. Careful, more careful, the most careful. Good, better, the best. Large, larger, the largest. Pretty, prettier, the prettiest. Bad, worse, the worst. Well done. You are an excellent student today. Let's summarize our lesson. You see some adjectives. Easy, busy, many and cool. And make the poem. Try please. Okay, are you ready? And this poem is for you, my dear. Take it easy, be always busy, have many friends and cool weekends. And your homework will be the following. Workbook exercise number 4, page 66. Fill in the gaps with the comparative or superlative form of the adjectives in brackets and add any necessary words. So, today we learned much information about comparative degrees of adjectives and make sentences with them. I hope that this information will be useful for you and you will learn all these rules by heart. I wish you good luck and success, and our lesson is over. See you soon.